This week on Safari Hunters Journal, we travel to Namibia to hunt with our dear friends at Jan Olasa Hunting Safaris. We will walk and stalk for Plains Game on this 80,000 acre area and in the process have a way too close encounter with some of Africa's most dangerous game. Then, in the name of conservation, we offer a reluctant giraffe a ride to an area that could use an infusion of new giraffe genes. It's an episode that features really tall creatures, and it starts right now on Safari Hunter's Journal, presented by Umarex. With my professional hunter Naftali at the wheel, we drove into the bush looking for a nice blue wildebeest bull to transform into Biltong. Naftali knew of an area where wildebeest were known to frequent, so I followed in blissful silence, enjoying the beauty of the Namibian bush, until said bliss was shattered by a chance encounter with a big bull elephant that emerged at very close range and turned straight towards us. As we were working into the wind, the bull had no idea we were there, at least not yet. But at about 40 meters, he decided something wasn't quite right. Under normal circumstances, this would not be an issue. If the bull got cheeky, a warning shot from a high-powered rifle would likely send him on his way. But these were not normal circumstances. We were a hunting planes game, so Neftali did not carry a rifle. And I was armed with the Umarex hammer. But look at the bright side. If things go south, I'm sure to be nominated for a Darwin Award. Fortunately, this was an older bull that did not feel threatened and had nothing to prove. Let's keep hunting. While waiting for the elephant to pass, Neftali glassed a couple of wildebeest bulls a few hundred yards away. As we closed in on their location, we went into stalk mode. a shot through but it's just so small it just I don't think I can risk it always do that oh, oh man they're so smart she was one step out yes Bush was a little thinner. You know, that's a good 
that's a good Africa stock. You know, we, we did everything we could. We got close. If we had a high powered rifle, like a 375, I would have taken the oh, shot. Yes. But we just are a little more restricted with the, with the hammer air gun. But if he'd just taken a step to the right, just a, just yeah, that, would have been, the right. that would have been it for it. This is kind of history 360 degrees because back in the 1960s, Jan Olofsson created a method of game capture that's still used today. And I start off by using nets and eventually I develop it into a way where I could drive the animals into big corrals built out of plastic material. Nobody believed that it would work when I told them my idea, but the idea was to build a big uh, stockade quickly and efficiently in the bush, visual and a psychological barrier. It's not a physical barrier. They can run through that plastic like you would run through a piece of toilet paper if they want to. But because they can't see through it, it stops them. And that was the beginning of the whole thing. And now 50 years later, his son Alex is up in the helicopter driving giraffe into this funnel and they'll run right into the truck to be translocated to a place that really needs giraffe. So the helicopter is near, the guys are getting in place. One guy has gotten behind the door and the next guy's gotten behind the curtain. At any moment, that tall yellow and brown thing be busting in here, not happy. Oh, there, there, I see, see legs. Now it needs to come in to this next, to the next section. So where, where she came in is closed off. Here she comes, the guys are trying to push her now. The helicopter's still there. All right, here she comes. Up, 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 up. She smells a rat. It's a smart giraffe. All right, here we go. We're gonna make another try. Don't know why he did that. Oh, it was smart. It was smart. There she comes. Now that was close. Now the door is closed. We're in just a little bit of danger because that head, if it swings around, can hurt. Now it's going to get a little real. All right, I've got him. Okay. Oh, I'm hanging on by one arm here, trying to keep my head as far back as possible. Put a blindfold over, which will make her more calm, a little bit more compliant. Well, that didn't quite work, but it's a good idea to get it in place. She'll be much more compliant. Oh, now the big boy comes out. I'm gonna put a tarp over. Ah, now, now she's gonna be a little more compliant. Or not. This might just work as a, as a curtain to move her along. Almost, if you just bring that head around. It's great being a uh, backseat driver. All right, getting there, getting there. Slow but sure, slow but sure. There we go, there we go. Now we're at a point, almost secure. All right, 
One foot in, two feet in. Not much leverage though now. Oh, she's pushing hard. She's pushing hard. Well done. And as for you, giraffe, be fruitful and multiply. Bring forth abundantly upon your new lands and multiply in them. To stay up to date on the latest outdoor and Second Amendment news and to take part in our social media contest giveaways, follow us at Umarex Air Guns and at Steve Scott TV. Stand up with God, you want to die on God. Okay, my name. Bye bye.